Alright, today we're going to be making Bulborb Larva with Polymer Clay. We're going to start by getting a ball of white clay and molding it into a kind of teardrop shape, which is pretty much the entirety of his body. So oftentimes when you're handling kind of a lighter color clay for a while, it can get really dirty and a bunch of dust sticks to it. So because of that, we're doing a trick that I've done a few times before, where we just wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol, and that's going to get rid of that layer of dust and make it look a lot cleaner. Now we're going to be making his mouth, which is going to be super simple. I'm just going to take this blade that I normally use to cut clay and just press it in. Alright guys, it's time for a big reveal, because for the first time ever, I'm going to be using makeup on clay. Apparently Apparently it's a really easy way to make gradients and like little splotches of color. I was inspired to try this method because of fellow YouTuber Dazzling Rose Clay, who's the first person I'd ever seen use makeup on clay. And if you enjoy my content, I'm sure you'll enjoy hers. Anyway, we just finished coloring around his mouth, so now we're gonna make his little tail. Or at least I thought it was a tail until I checked the Pikmin wiki and discovered it was actually an umbilical cord. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pretending that it's a tail. Now we're making my favorite detail, which is this little splotch of pink on his butt. And now we pretty much just have to make his eyes. So one of my favorite parts of the Pikmin games has always been how much thought they put into like, I guess the ecosystem aspect of the enemies. Like not only getting to see all the different varieties and species of different enemies, but also like seeing all the technical biological information with Olimar's notes. And in the case of Bulborb Larva, it's getting to see what one of those species would look like as a baby. And it's these extra little bits of world building which really bring the Pikmin games to life. Just those like extra little doses of realism that I really appreciate. Anyway, this Bulborb larva is ready to go in the oven to meet its hot, fiery doom. I mean, I mean it's uh, going in the oven to bake the clay model. So the clay can harden. That's what I meant to say. And there it is, the finished Bulborb larva. Look at him scooting around. He's chillin', ready for Pikmin killin', his life's gonna be unfulfillin', cause I'ma use my Pikmin to kill him. <laughs> Just uh, had to end the video with some bars. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and that's all for now. Peace.